Hi there, it's Carl here from Cleaning Out 2. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to restore a filthy wooden floor, but also how to maintain a wooden floor using a microfiber flat mop system. So I'm in here in sunny Dublin on a really nice, I think it's oak wooden floor with uh, bugnations on it. So what I mean by that is these stripes along it, and they are full up with grease and detergent based soiling. So I have my Pro 35 brush machine, which I'm going to use water only to agitate the dirt and detergent slurry out of those grooves. It shouldn't be there in the first place because the floor is being cleaned with detergents and this floor should be cleaned with water and microfiber mops only. So I'm gonna show you guys just how much foam and detergent is in this floor with just water in this bucket and using the brush to agitate it out of the floor. Over time, basically the detergent and soil build up on the floor and turn into a tacky emulsification of detergent and oil and dirt on the floor. And that needs to be taken out. Now that can be done with a microfiber mop. A normal mop won't work because you'd be taking the mop head out, putting it into your cleaning water, transferring all the dirt and detergent back into that water and then reapplying it to the floor as you go. So it's counterproductive and that's what's been happening with the floor here. It's been cleaned with an, a standard mop and bucket and over a couple of years it's just built up with a fairly hectic layer as you can hear from me tamping my feet. Um, a fairly hectic layer of sticky detergent residue so our job basically is to remove that detergent residue and then implement a protocol to clean the floor with a microfiber mop system going forward. So in the next part of the video, I'm gonna show you after I've cleaned the floor, how to clean a floor properly with a microfiber mop. Okay, so as you can see, we now have a beautifully cleaned and restored floor. We've removed all of the detergent and soil residue from it. The room has actually brightened up significantly because of all of the detergent that was in it. Absorbing all of the light, it's now gone from the floor and it's changed from a kind of sickly, greasy looking floor to a nice, clean finish. So in order to maintain it, I recommend using a microfiber flat mop system like this on a Velcro backing pad like this. Now, if you do this regularly, you'll only need to do it with water. I don't recommend steam mops because they'll pull out the natural oils from the floor, but literally you spray maybe 10 mils of water on the floor. Start at the furthest point out. Mop about 10 square foot. This head now comes off. You can see the remaining soil on it. This head now comes off and goes to be laundered. I swap this head on. I can do two things. I can use this to dry the floor here, which I'm going to do. Ordinarily with a flat mop system, the floor is gonna dry in about two, three minutes anyway. Alternatively, I can spray the next bit and do the next 10 square foot or so. And that pretty much is how you clean and maintain a wooden floor so it doesn't get in that condition in the first place. Carl here from Cleaning How To, how to clean, maintain a wooden floor using a microfiber flat mop system after a full detergent removal and floor reset. Thanks for watching the video.